Geil. Ja. Hello. You are not really in the light. In the light? What? I don't know. It's, there's not a lot of light on you. Huh. Wait, wait, we'll... we'll... Now, like Jesus with a halo. <laughs> Our heads are kind of reflecting like yeah, yeah. Jesus with a halo. No, I'm not saying I'm Jesus. Jesus, here is coffee. He doesn't have any. Ha! We have no time huh. for him to have coffee. Who is this? I don't know. Yeah. Who am I? Who am I? This is Sebastian. This is the poor guy who had to hold the camera on the Toman challenges. All day long, baby. And run with me through the rain. Through the rain, hand in hand. You know? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, that's icky. So, what was I going to say? Um, he's go well, who's going Bing? Leslie, I have no time. It's Monday, it's crazy. I had to write seven million emails to people and then FaceTime and Skype and the Chinese and then the post people came. Um, uh, it's weird. So, anyway, go to Reveland Music Festival. I think it's in August. This is last year's shirt. This year, they have Power Wolf and Doro and Candlemas and really good bands. He's going because he's a metal guy, right? Yeah. 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 Totally. Um, totally. Anyway... We were at Toman, he came with me not to film and not to actually help me. He was hoping he could test some acoustic guitars, which when we did our brilliant Wonderwall challenge, um, we were actually then stuck in the acoustic department and could check some. Um, Toman's acoustic department has a lot of acoustic instruments, probably more than most, but still we were hoping that there would be some brands and some models that they didn't really have on display, right? Yeah, right. right, right. We were like, uh... uh um, obviously, they can't display everything they have in stock. So, hmm. But behind a piece of glass were the D'Angelico's or D'Angelico guitars. And um, funny enough, once we tested one, I ran into Steve Pisani from D'Angelico. And I'm like, hey, Steve, we just tested your guitar. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's always nice to... <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, you know, just b blow some sugar up some manufacturer's ass if it's actually true what you're blowing up there. So Sebastian was like, it's, that's a good guitar. It is. Out of all the ones we, we checked out, he was very, not surprised, but impressed. That's the word. Yeah. Playability, le, le, playability like an electric. Um, it was a grand auditorium, right? Yeah, right. right. Do you know what that means? Uh, it's some kind of body shape. Which some kind. That's pretty much how much I knew. Appar I always thought grand auditorium means bigger than Leslie, shut your trap. Um bigger than Dreadnought because it, Dreadnought has not the word grand in it. Yeah. That's so I always thought it's bigger. Apparently it is smaller than a Dreadnought. F flatter. But, uh, yeah, but, but, it, but it goes like this to the end. So it's, it's very small at the beginning. It, Dreadnoughts the are flatter shaped, I think, but definitely according to what, not definitely, according to what Phil X said and what the <laughs> fuck does Phil X know. <laughs> I watched the video and he said uh, grand auditoriums are flatter this way. So the body is oh, not okay. as thick. So it could be, mm, ha could have nice playability in terms of body shape for a guitar player like us, electric guitar players. And the Angelicals definitely have amazing playability and they're trying to cater to the uh, like electric player who wants to have a great plug-inable, that's the word, acoustic guitar. Why are we saying all this stuff? Why are we sitting here in front of empty bulldog stands talking about the Angelico acoustic guitars? Hmm. hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's one, or maybe there are two. Maybe. D'Angelico. Maybe I told them that my student, Sebastian, wants to check one out. And maybe I told them that I would be willing to do a demo for one as well. <laughs> and um, yeah. then they were like, hey, <laughs> that's what they said, exactly. So um, he didn't know if he wanted the Mercer or the Gramercy. Difference is, both of them are the same shape, everything's exactly, exactly the same, but the Mercer is mahogany, I think? Yep. The Gramercy is sides and back rosewood. I can never think of the word rosewood or palisander, which is the German word for rosewood, and I always have to... There's certain words that I cannot remember ever. Huh. Rosewood is one of them. Palisander, the German word for rosewood, is one of them. Driveway is another one. Or... I always think about, I see the car standing there and I want to tell people it's in the 
and I always have to pause my sentence because I can never remember the word driveway whenever I need it. Do you have words like this? Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember the the name of my wife. I always call her bitch, but it's that's different thing. I guess that, that's di- that's uh, that's also dependent on the situation, probably. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes we 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 cannot. Put this on YouTube now. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> so that's now. that's going I, on YouTube. Uh, uh, we don't edit here. Uh, come on. His wife's actually very, very nice. Yeah, uh, Have I actually ever met her? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. She was with me when I uh, had lessons in in Bible. Oh, ah, long, long time ago. Long time. Long, ago. long time ago. Um. So we're gonna <laughs> open a box now. Where's the unboxing knife? Uh, I could give you. The unboxing glass cleaner. Uh-huh. You could unbox with that. I can try. Okay. The unboxing glass cleaner today. Sebastian, on the unboxing glass cleaner. Oh. We're gonna drag this over here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go. This might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that not the blunt end. Doing Unboxing so glass well. cleaner. Wow. Doing so well. So well. And the D'Angelico's... Um, <laughs> what the crap? The D'Angelico's uh, always come with a case, which is very nice. A nice form-fitted shapey case with the D'Angelico logo on it. This is, a, this is, this is not a hat. Show, show you a nice hat. Come on, show the people the hat. That's a good hat. Ah, isn't it? Hmm. It's been checked. There's a check sticker on it. I like the check sticker. Take this. Careful. There's actually a checky marky thing in there. Let me, let me, let me. I'll be right back. I can't afford it. Can you get out? Yeah. <laughs> You're like a snake. I got it. Snake man. Yep. Vibration test. All screws. Action high check. Everything checked. Cosmetics. Mm-hmm. So technically this guitar should be perfect because all the little check marks have been checked. So. Yeah, and it's, it's checked. Uh, 16, 18, 6, 16. Good. So it's brand new. Whoever knows. So I'll put this on my lap and you open it. It's a nice case. Yeah, for me the cases just end up somewhere in a closet. Because I have a beautiful access case that I would put this in, which uh, this probably fits in. I love my access case. I'm not saying this because I owe them anything, just this freaking, it's a stage three access case, which is just freaking brilliant. No, not happening? No, not really. What's going on there? Ah! It's stuck. Never so, forget this. Yeah. Oh wait. Is there, is there another one? No. Oh yeah. The, yeah. This is stu- this, why. Your PS has this too. I That's was. That's You always ri- you always yeah. rip this. I mean, is it really necessary? No, I don't think so. But yeah. Uh, by the way, I ordered oh. both of them in natural. Yeah. Uh, they have a nice gray black, which is neat. But I thought you probably want natural. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm kind of natural. This guy. is a nice case. <laughs> Look at this, there's stuff in here. Fishman on board and a, and a wrench. Yeah, for, for Ikea stuff, I guess. It's not for Ikea. Ah. It's for the truss rod. No. The truss rod wrench. Ikea stuff comes with its own wrench. Really Every bad ones. Every Ikea cupboard needs such a wrench to build it up, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just rip it. Rip it good. Ooh. Ooh. Look so at that's the gram that's the gramercy with rosewood. Of course. That's what I thought. Um It's got the beautiful fisherman ink pickup. Is it called ink? Let me check on the side. What does it say? Uh, fisherman ink, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. With a tuner, volume, three band EQ and what's that? 
brilliant. It's brilliant. Just brilliant so, so if you oh. suck at playing, the more you increase it, the more brilliant you are. But yeah. this is neat. Um, well, we'll find out if it's neat. But they have brass. Show, show it in the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only have one camera today. Brass. What are the pegs? What are they called? Pins. Blood. String pin pegs. Yeah. Um, it should mean you have a different attack. Does it mean the sound is harsher? Does it sound more metallic? I don't know, but the attack should definitely change based on these beautiful high-end brass pins. It's, it's a choice they make. The side, the back, very nice. The question is how much do you look at it. Looks like your beautiful grandma's cupboard. <laughs> yeah. So while you play this a little bit for the nice folks, Wonderwall, of course. Of course. <laughs> and here we've got the Mercer, which really, visually speaking, because they stained the mahogany a little bit. Maybe you can, you can put it like this. It's not like this red or very, very bright mahogany. It's definitely darker. Show the back. So I'm thinking, visually speaking, getting this over this, this is 100 bucks more. Uh, so this is 899, this is 999. As of the filming of this video, don't nail me down on this. So for the visuals, I don't think it would, should make any, sense, uh, any difference. You're not going to say I'm going to spend a hundred bucks more because this looks so much prettier, right? It's both just brown. So the question is, what does it do for sound? So you hold this in. This is really nice, this, this, this setup. So this, this, little, this little dot just becomes a display and then you tune. No battery? What? Let me see. Try this one. Um, so the thing is with this Fishman thing, I've learned, the cool thing is no screws or anything. Because mm -hmm. no one will hear me when you're playing. Yeah. Um, Who wants you, to hear you? You just take this and you move it over. Ah, okay. So this one has been checked with the pickup. Yeah. This has not. Yeah. Because... Battery is still in. The battery... So if it says on the checklist, pickup works, the question is... How did they, did they did, know? Well, maybe they took the battery out. You know, it's 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 pot. Maybe they took the battery out and put in their test battery. It's possible. The Vimp extra long life, good China quality. <laughs> good China, very inexpensive battery, but who cares? Um. So now the question, of course, is oh plus minus. They tell me. I was gonna bitch about that. I don't know how. Well, yeah, that's smart. But come on, how cool is this? It's a super simple thing. It's just a snappable piece of plastic. Yeah, and really. It's really the, the easiest, simplest solution. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Pop it out. I mean, this is... That's good. This is nice. Clever. Yep. Very inexpensive to do, but clever. Yep. So... Yeah. yeah. Ah, you ear. tuned it well. All, all by, by ear, ear, TC Polytune. <laughs> <laughs> Quick change. Yep. If rosewood is supposed to add high end, which it technically should, technically mahogany should sound warmer and rounder, then this is not what's happening here. Because to me, this sounds brighter. Don't waste your battery. Uh, yeah. 
three, four. What did you just play? Uh, who knows? You ever play that? What? What did I just play? Three, four. <laughs> Fun playability is beautiful. Yeah, 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 it really is. They feel like they have a very narrow neck width. Widdity, widdity. The widdity of the neck is. It's, it's just. It like feels like an electric. electric. It, yeah, it yeah, feels yeah. like an, it feels like they're uh, hollow bodies. It feels like the DC, like the SS. It feels like the SS. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 this mm. is, this, it's an American guitar, it has nothing to do with anything even remotely related to ich bin Beamter. mainland And China. This goes on YouTube, you know. As if anyone knows. Major difference? Not really. Not really. Go, go for the cheaper one. That's what I would say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah that would be yeah. my suggestion, really. Yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, well, if you say Palisander is is a lot of brilliance, a lot of heights, right? It should. It should. Should the have. attack should be a little bit more there, a little bit faster, okay. and it should have a little bit more high end. Yeah, uh, and but but. But this guitar already has, so I, I guess this this uh, effect does not. Yeah, it, it, they are already very very bright. Um, yeah. And the Angelico themselves, they say these are not guitars that have th that are trying to compete with your Martin D28 for two and a half thousand bucks. They're saying this, these are not guitars that are supposed to compete with the super high end. So the acoustic sound is there, and they sound really nice acoustically. But their strength really lies in the pickup, which is the Fishman Ink system. Um, and uh, we're going to ob obviously test that in and depth. It's, it's uh, the playability, I guess. And uh, we're going to turn the camera off, and uh, Sebastian can, you know, choose one of these two. But I would hope that whichever one he chooses, he brings back when I actually do the demo. Or maybe we do the full demo together. We can. So that uh, we can actually go and show you the differences again in a better demo. With you know being mic'd up, so you hear all the differences because right now it's only going through the shotgun mic. Yeah. I would assume that through the pickup, there is probably no difference whatsoever. No. So if you're a mahogany guy, go for the Mercer. If you like the look and just the idea of rosewood, <laughs> spend the extra hundred bucks. I mean, nine hundred or a thousand. It's really, I don't know. It's really, if you're already spending that much money, go with what you feel comfortable with. Um, I'm thinking it's more a mojo feel on the paper thing than a really major difference in, in tone. Yep. And that's the, that's the feeling I've gotten from all these guitars with mahogany backs and sides and rosewood backs and sides. I've tested the Ortegas, the RCE-138SN and the RCE-158SN. And both of them are the same guitar, again, mahogany, rosewood, 150 bucks difference. And I didn't really hear any major difference that would mean buy this one or buy this one. Oh. So, uh, this was Sebastian. Yeah. He'll, he'll be back with his guitar, whichever one it'll be. Um, and uh, this was me. And this was you. <laughs> Obvious. Yeah. <Well, laughs> uh, wait, wait, we didn't, wait. We didn't uh, use the stands okay. at all. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have to we use should, the stands. We should. 
because otherwise Pascal is crying. Pascal is the guy who makes these really amazing stands. So give him a thumbs up. Bulldogmusicgear.com. Beautiful stands for beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.